up guys, Kevin Ross here at East Down Aquatics and I am at the Aquatic Experience in Chicago, Illinois, 2017. And I did a video earlier showcasing the big tanks in the Fubo Aquascaping Contest, but this, all, these are the nano tanks. And honestly, this is my favorite part because I think nano aquascaping is an extreme skill. Yeah, if you can aquascape a big tank, that's awesome. You have a lot of room to work with. But these guys have the huge challenge of having to make it a giant ecosystem out of something as small as this. These are like little nine or ten gallon cubes or something like that. And they make they manage to make them look huge using only perspective essentially. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at each tank. A lot of them don't have fish in them, but that's okay because you can get the perspective just by the way they aquascaped it. I think it floated out. Yeah. I was I think, just willing to accept what is kind of like a cool. I think the driftwood floated out. They're talking about this tank over here. I think the driftwood has floated up somehow. It still looks pretty cool, but you know. To its credit, it does still look pretty cool. It does. It's a unique design, even if it is by accident. So this is just a quick video of all the tanks, but my buddy over here is doing a super in-depth video. I'll try and get a link to his video in the description of this one. I'll talk to him afterwards if you guys want like a super in-depth. He's been using the last six hours to document each individual tank, but very like slowly and going over every little thing. This is just pretty quick. This one looks pretty cool. And over here is a really unique idea. You got that quartz stone going on, but look inside. There's copepods are the one stock in this tank. Copepods everywhere. This is interesting, kind of neat concept here. Look at this one. Literally full. I love the color coloration as it goes red to light green to the dark green and then a little lighter green. It's just brilliant. These aquascapers really take their time to make everything precise the way they want it and it looks really good. I really wish I had the talent they have. Over here I believe those are chili rasboros or strawberry rasboros, one of the two. Very nice nano fish. This one's kind of like the one in the big tank, the good idea. So what they've done here, you see why the light is? They've taken like a little poster board looking thing, and they have a like a phoenix. I think it's like some sort of phoenix back there. And it's allowing the light to show through, so it really adds to that perspective like you're looking into a long canyon, because you can't see the end of it. As opposed to these just having a black background, they've really added that white in the back to give you perspective. Oh, that's the leaf. Now, as I get down there, it's going to be harder to get a look in. But this one's got a really neat background as well. You got the knife going on. Puffers. Pea puffers of some kind. Pea puffers are amazing nano fish. They're, they have such a like curiosity going for them. Very interesting scape there. Oh, Next sorry. One's, you're good. Next one's like a big old chunk of driftwood going in there with the Anubias and Hygrophilia and some sort of moss on the side. Sick <laughs> on there. 
Doesn't it look looks like the old ruins of a temple of some sort? Just so creative. Oh, here's a sweet German blue ram pair in here. With the Marma moss balls. Unique design. A lot of the tanks don't have that open space in the front. This one really takes advantage of Here's my personal favorite of the Here's my personal favorite of the show. I think it makes the best use of the never-ending perspective in the back. Again, they add that little phoenix on the back to add the, make the poster board light up. To give the appearance that it just goes on into nothing. Tetris in underneath. I don't know, that's just my personal favorite. Over here they have the different colorations of the substrate which really allows um, just that change really makes it look nice. Everyone has their own creativity with making these which is just so cool. You got the rocks versus the jungle looking thing over here which is really sweet. This one's really simple but it's beautiful. Look at this. You got the rocks going up and the lone tree all by itself. That's sweet. This one's really neat. So I actually talked to the aquascape about this one. See, he told me personally he's not the biggest like intricate aquascaper so he decided to do like a biotope. So he wanted to take advantage of the fact that in like the Amazon you don't have a lot of those plants in some parts of the Amazon, you don't have a lot of those plants that are like all in the substrate. You have a lot of big plants that just have their roots hanging down. So that's what we wanted to do here with this big old Anubias sor swords and stuff like that. With their roots. I personally am not the base expert on the plant, so it's either like an Anubias or a sword. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's Anubias. Here are another use of those pea puffers. I would have loved to see a waterfall right here. If they did one of those PVC waterfalls, they could have done it really well. Pygmy cores, and there's a little crayfish looking thing down there. Very neat. Another use of the light in the back. Here's a completely different coloration compared to the other ones we've seen. This one has that brown sand. Here's one that has like a path going on in the background. This one would have been cool with the white in the back. Neat one. A lot of them take advantage of that path aspect that they make with the sand. And then our last one was some sort of Harlequin looking Rasbora, maybe a strawberry. Very bright. So there you have it folks. There is the Nano Fruval Live Aquascape. They were working on it earlier. And these guys are just true geniuses. There's not many other places you can see like all this talent at work in the aquarium field without going from video to video, but we saw it all here done today. We had the big contest over there. Be sure to check out my other video on that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Check out my other aquarium uh, aquatic experience videos for 2017, and I had some for 2016. We got tons of people here. We got Jay Wilson, we got DIY Aqua Pros, Corey from Aquarium Co-op, Mike from Mass, everybody, Aaron's Aquarium, tons of big guys here, and little East Allen Aquatics here. So thank you so much for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.